cover. As far as your outputs, uh, not only uh, you know can you use the uh, native format, but you can export uh, your report to an HTML, Excel, PDF, and some other formats. And as far as uh, delivery options, uh, you can also uh, set up reporting services with your SQL agent, where you can uh, send this as an email, uh, file share, and whatnot. So this is kind of like a very high level uh, architecture of the reporting services. Uh, as far as uh, configuration manager, uh, like I mentioned, this is ne necessary to configure before you can work with uh, SSRS. Uh, using this, you can control the server status. Uh, this is essentially the same as the services tab. Uh, you can uh, look at your web service URL, and I believe this is uh, a mistake here. This should be report manager URL. Um, you can change your email settings and uh, execution account. So before we get into reporting services configuration manager, let me just show you uh, the data real quick. I am using, like I mentioned, a Northwind database and I have uh, put together a query that is pulling information from categories table, products table, orders table, and a view which is order details extended and then we have the join and we're grouping by these fields. So if I run this query, uh, this is what I am pulling down here. We have the uh, category information, uh, the name, also the product, and how much did you sell. Okay, so this, this is the information I'm going to use. Um, and I think what I'm going to in fact do is I'm actually just going to copy this and put this in a notepad. We will need this when we actually work with the report. And for this one, I am going to uh, kill this. I don't really need to have any of these things running, which will help us uh, with some of these resources. Okay, so that's that. As for as reporting uh, services configuration manager, uh, the way you can get to that is you go to all programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2008, Configuration Tools, and then Reporting Services Configuration Manager. Okay. Okay, so now it's asking me which uh, which instance I want to connect to. Uh, in my case, I'm using default instance, so I will just uh, hit connect. And uh, so let's cover some of these uh, topics here. Right now, you will notice that our reporting services um, is I uh, is ru uh, running where it says started. You can also go ahead and stop it if you would like. We are using uh, an enterprise eval edition of. Uh, the software and on, on the left side you will have a few tabs uh, this is uh, in fact one of the things we'll be talking about in, in the issues we ran into but we are using a service account uh, which is uh, essentially created on my local domain and that is the preferred way of doing this is to actually create a dedicated account and you know give it the necessary permissions uh, to work with. Uh, essentially that's the best practices way of doing it. As far as the web service URL, uh, this is using uh, port 80 uh, which is going to be the web service uh, information and here's the link to that. Uh, now uh, as far as database, if you are not familiar, uh, reporting services does create a database on your instance. It's called report server and that's necessary for working with all the meta objects and whatnot. Uh, here is uh, the credential that's going to interact with the uh, report um, server database. And for our case, uh, what we have done with this user that I showed you uh, is we have created this as part of the SA group. And uh, you may want to fine tune your settings with that. Uh, you could possibly give you know this account a DBO access to that database, but for our case, um, we are just basically using SA account for this, which is the super user in SQL Server. Now moving on to report manager URL, uh, like I mentioned, this is to uh, you know this utility is used to control uh, 
the behavior of the reports from an end user perspective and also some of the other settings regarding security and subscription and here is the um, address we will take a look at this in a little bit and then there are some other account uh, settings we will not be using you could set up your email setting uh, execution account if you're, you were using a remote server uh, encryption settings and then uh, some some other settings so that's essentially the configuration manager uh, that I wanted to cover and so coming back to our slides now, as far as creating the actual report, we are going to be using uh, Business Intelligence Development Studio. Uh, there is another tool uh, that's called Report Designer that you could also use to create uh, reporting services reports, but um, we are going to be using this. Uh, and this is really a scaled down version of Visual Studio 2008. It's typically used to deploy SSRS, SSIS, and SSAS projects. The environment is similar to Visual Studio and you can create report server and report model projects with this and we will be using uh, the product and category example so let's switch to our demo. I do have this uh, started here essentially and the way you can get to that again if you're not familiar with it is you go to all programs SQL Server 2008 and then SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio long name uh, but essentially like I said it's it's also known as bids now when you come in here you can just go to file new project and this will bring up the dialog box and here uh, you will have a few options for today uh, I'm just really going to use the wizard which is uh, it's a great uh, way to get going essentially if this is your first time and I am simply going to call it uh, Report Wizard uh, as the project name. Uh, this is where uh, it's going to go. And also the solution is named Report Wizard. So I'll just click OK here. And it will go ahead and create the necessary files. So this will go ahead and start the wizard. And you know it's telling you some of the things you can do by going through the wizard. I'm just going to go ahead and click next. So this part of the screen is actually where you can set up the uh, data source and we will walk you through this. So I'm just going to call this DS Northwind and uh, the type is SQL Server. Like I mentioned you could also have uh, you know use some of the other data sources uh, for this. I'm going to go ahead and click edit And for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and type in period, which is going to pick up my local instance. I uh, could have also used a named instance. And the database, like I mentioned, we're working with is Northwind. So I will select that, do a test, and things look good. Click OK, and then move on to next. Now here, uh, this is the part where we, we can actually uh, set up the query builder. I'm not going to go this route, but I uh, just want to show you a very powerful tool that is going to really uh, let you create your um, SQL rather easily. You can go ahead and you know add tables, you can uh, do all kinds of fun stuff here. Um, very nice. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this, cancel this part also and then um, let me see if I can actually copy this here and see if it likes that I believe it took it so we'll, uh, we'll see if it uh, works or not uh, here you can select what uh, type of uh, report do you need if you're trying to do a sort of like a cross tab you can pick matrix I'm going to just pick tabular move next uh, looks like it did pick uh, what we were looking for. So now, really, the main thing I need to do is I need to um, uh, group my report by the category name. So I'm going to put this, and these are, by the way, sections. So you can select uh, if you want it at the page level, if you wanted to show one category per page. Um, I'm going to uh, essentially remove that one and instead. I'm